So Notion came out with a new Notion AI agent. And what does it mean for you? Like what has changed? Um, if you have tried using Notion AI before, why is this different? And how is it different? Basically, I want to answer all these questions in this video, short video. And I want to give you some examples uh, of how you can use the AI agent with some marketing use cases so you can actually see how you can use it in your day-to-day -day life. So if you have tried Notion AI before, ask it some things like about, about tasks, about uh, documents, you know, improving your writing or having it continue writing a sentence. So having Notion AI, using Notion AI, if you've tried it before, it was already pretty good, but it wasn't half as good as it is now. Basically now Notion can take action for you. It can create and edit pages and databases and database views and so much more. And if you don't know, you can access Notion AI here on the right, Notion AI. Or you can go to here, Notion AI, and uh, that will be the same, kind of different. It would open as a full page, right? But typically I use it here on the right. Well, you can also, of course, select text and then uh, ask AI. And then you have this pop-up, which is better for like editing shorter paragraphs of text or something like that. This is the, the AI I use the most or the AI uh, area I use the most. What you can ask Notion AI to do is, for example, write a proposal for a client based on your tag pages. So you can tag a page with your Notion meeting transcript and use the structure in add proposal template. So you can have a template for your proposals and you can tag that page here as an example. So you can ask Notion AI to write a proposal based on a template and based on a meeting with the client that you had. It can save you so much time. It's just crazy if you think about it. Second example would be based on our weekly meeting today, set the priorities and add new tasks to the tasks database. Assign content tasks to Maria and anything ads related to Anna. So what Notion AI would do here is it would find this weekly meeting document or page in Notion that you have. Uh, if you have a transcript, that's great because it can read it and it can find out the priorities and tasks that you discussed. Or you have your notes there, that's also fine. Then it would try to uh, assume based on these notes what the tasks and priorities are. And then it would add pages to your tasks database, which is crazy, which it could not do before. It can add pages to your task database directly and tag it, tag the pages properly and then assign uh, those tasks as well. So that is, you know, insane. It can save you so much time as well. A third example would be uh, ask it to create a page with a social media campaign schedule and a calendar with key campaign dates for the new feature launch based on, you will take a page, new feature description. So you have a page where you describe the new feature you just tag that and you ask it to create a social media campaign based on that. You can also ask it to add post ideas for Instagram and LinkedIn to the content calendar. So that is like such a complex multi-step process that Notion AI can now handle, which is crazy. I have to say it's crazy. You really need to try it out if you haven't yet. And another uh, example I want to give you is create a new content calendar from scratch and add first 10 content ideas based on the pain points of our users um, we, uh, based on user interviews that we conducted with them and you can see, and then you tag, uh, your, um, interviews database. So whenever you, wherever you tracked interviews, um, you can tag that, uh, tag that page, or you can just attach, um, your research with the interviews as well into the chat. So here you would attach it, uh, attach it, and then you can go from there. So those are just four examples of how you can use Notion AI or how I would use it in my day-to-day -day life. Another thing you can do is you can ask Notion Agent to create database views for you, which is something I've been using a lot. Um, if I want a chart, if I want a new database view that looks really cool, I just ask it to create it. I don't need to set the filters myself. I don't need to set, you know, the correct properties. It can just do it for me. So for example, in this case, I had a KPI database with, um, I was like a database where I was tracking, yeah, the KPIs, so followers, impressions, uh, etc. And I asked it, can you create multiple chart views and add them to my KPI database 
to analyze the weekly KPI data. And what it did is it added three different or two or three different charts to my database, like this one, growth by week. Uh, and you can see I can see the growth by week in a chart or growth by week in terms of impressions as well. So followers and impressions, two different chart views. And notionally, I made this, which is crazy. A use case I actually want to demonstrate to you right now, do, let's do a live demonstration, is I want to add due dates uh, automatically to this uh, database because I have an event that I want to host on December 16th. And I have a few tasks until then and I need to get done, but I would have to do it manually and estimate when should I order the food, when should I invite the speakers, by when should I promote the event, uh, when should I create the event landing page, you know. I just want to be sure I allocate enough time that I do it in advance, that I don't rush with anything, and I think AI can handle that job really well. So I would ask Notion AI, let me copy the prompt, add due dates to the networking event tasks database that would make sure I do all the tasks before event day without stressing. This event is on the 16th of December. So let's ask Notion AI. This is a database. And as you can see, Notion AI has added dates to our database of, with tasks for the event. And you can see it's it looks really realistic and nice. For example, mm, sent out the email four days before. <laughs> it added a date four days before, so it understood what I mean. Uh, it said that we should set the budget and ticket pricing on October 20th, for example. Before that, we need to define event goals and target audience. So what I can do now is I can sort by date, sort the database by date, so I can see uh, at a glance, okay, this is a list of tasks and this is what I have to do step by step. So this is amazing. I mean, it would have taken me a while to think about the right date and check my calendar and do all these things. So... I think this is amazing. And what else I can do is I can even ask it to add reminders for each task on due date, a due date date. So for example, whenever, if it's October 15th, I want it to remind me, send a notification in Notion um, that I should, that I should do this task uh, in case I forget. So um, I would need to manually go into each task and add remind on day of event like this. I don't want to do it manually. I can just ask Notion AI to do it for me. So let me ask it like this. And it did, as you see, a remind on day of event. It has updated all of them so that the reminder is set, which is really cool. Let's do another example together. Let's say you had a meeting and you transcribe this meeting with Notion AI meeting notes and you um, explained in the meeting how to do something to a colleague, right? So you were very detailed, you were showing them how to set up a Google Ads campaign or something like that. What we can do now with Notion AI in a few seconds or minutes is we can create an SOP based on this meeting or even a mini guide. And in our case, let's do a mini guide based on a workshop that I gave about personal branding. So. What I would do is I would start a new chat and I would say create a new page and write a mini guide based on the workshop I gave on personal branding last week. Here's the transcript of that workshop. Transcript, workshop personal branding. As an example of such a guide and formatting and tone, you can refer to the freebie playbook. One second, freebie freebie play oh that's wrong to the freebie freebie playbook that i made before don't use emojis yeah because i just don't like when it uses emojis <laughs> let's uh hit send and now it's going to do the magic it created the page Let's open it. Let's 
This is the guide it made. You can see personal branding on LinkedIn, mini guide. Let's remove this. It created all of that, even like with checklists and prompts, seven day action plan, which is amazing. All of that it did based on this transcript of a workshop that I gave. So I think that's amazing. It saved me so much time. Something like this would have taken me hours and hours to actually come up with myself and format and present. And now I can just share it with anyone who's interested in what I'm teaching. So after the workshop, I could just send this mini guide to all of the participants. And yeah, you can do that with anything. You can do that with SOPs as well and with anything else you would want to turn into a guide or SOP or document. So notionally, I can do so many things. This is just an example marketing related examples, but do play around with it. The Notion AI is included on business and enterprise plans and business plan starts at 20 euros per person. So I think it's pretty affordable for what it offers. And, and comparing my life from before AI agent to after AI agent, it's just crazy. Now I can add dates to databases, I can tag my tasks and notes and everything, I can categorize things, everything is super cleaned up and much, 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 much easier to maintain. So yeah, congrats to Notion on the launch of the AI agent, do play around with it and let me know how you use it. Bye!